anybody here? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I am. Um, I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> In the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> Uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the locations for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament goes solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rods, and we harness power!
fault. <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What well, now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this. Missing something. Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. This is my life's work. It is incredible. What? I am so happy. <laughs> oh, you just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs>
morning, Arthur. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Disco boys are coming! windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door. There. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Had a 
harness for women. This is Adler! So, except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Karen? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. 
You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, O'Driscoll's, Pinkertons. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. Good to see you back, sir. Lots of folks think I get bored in this job. Hmm. You can see the things I've seen. Folks just get on here. Thanks for your assistance. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. All fine. your money now. Don't, Don't make me ask twice. This is it. Oh, nothing else. Open the safe. Let my acquaintance inside. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got. I said right. open the Here's gate everything. and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. Hand over all your money now. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. <laughs> There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! Uh, 
There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Bro, no! We got you surrounded! That's greasy right son of a bitch! He set us up! You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them on, fellas. We got more on the right! That's a... Right now, it's Arthur. We got someone about to leave.
Cooper, come on! Before any of you show up! Took a real bang on the head back there. I'm seeing free of everything. If you stay down, I'll hold him off. Coming from behind us. Get rid of him. Looks like they ain't giving up yet. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. <laughs> <laughs> 